Hey guys, so this is the video that you wanted and that you requested. You guys asked me about my bag collection, so I'm not going to show you all of my bags because this video would be a little bit long, but I'm going to show you the bags that I recommend to you buying and the bags that I would say, mm, keep your hands from that because I've made that mis mistake. Now it's really hard to get rid of it. I don't want it anymore. It was just like a trend for one season and it's just not something that you can keep your lifetime and you're always going to be happy because these bags are expensive and if you buy a bag you want it to have a purpose in your life and also maybe a purpose in the life of your daughter and there's only a few handbags which I would say in my honest opinion which are really worth buying. So. Of course, there's Hermes bags, Chanel bags, Louis Vuitton, we've got Bottega Veneta, we've got Celine, we've got Balenciaga. I think I don't have any Prada bag in this collection here because the Prada bags that I own, mm, it's not that they are like my most favorite bags, but they're also not something that I would say was like a big mistake. So I'm going to show you the bag which was a mistake and then maybe show you the opposite bag which is a good buy and then we're going to go from there. So it's going to be a long video. I hope you're in it. Let's start with a bag that I would buy again. To go to the back. Let's start with Chanel, okay? This is a beautiful bag. This is the Chanel flat bag. Um, the color is like something like really nice beige tone. It has gold hardware, but the leather it's lambskin and lambskin and this color is super super sensitive i only wore this bag two times when i was in dubai and i was wearing like jeans and like a dark sweater and there were like little, little stains on it from one time going and i was so scared i was like no because this is one of the first bags i ever bought it's like six years old or something it is a classic but if you buy a chanel bag a flat bag, a classic one, which I can recommend to you guys. Go, and I'm gonna show you. This is also a flat bag, but as you can see, this is not lambskin, this is caviar. And caviar is such a better leather if you wanna buy a Chanel bag. This is really soft. It gets, it's super sensitive, it gets scratches, it gets sturdy when you buy, um, when you wear dark, dark clothes. Also the size, it's like this big. I wouldn't recommend buying you guys uh, to buy this kind of bag because you would only need this kind of bag if you're traveling. And these bags are too expensive to just keep them in the plane, to travel, to get dirty, to be at the airport, going through security. No, so you should rather buy a bag that's like a little bit smaller so you can see in comparison. And this bag you can wear anywhere. You can wear it when you go shopping, when you have a meeting, when you when you go for dinner because it's not that big. You know, you can wear it like this. You can get it like this. I mean, this is a beautiful color because I love lemon colors. It is like beautiful yellow and it has silver hardware. I think I showed you guys before. And this is caviar leather. I've worn this bag a million times and it has not one scratch. It has no color change whatsoever. This is a safe buy. So if you go to Chanel, go for a caviar leather. They are always sold out because everyone knows that caviar leather is better than lambskin. If you don't care, if you say, I spend the money, I don't care if it gets like dirty or scratches. I'm not like that. If I buy a bag, I want it to keep. I want it to keep it longer, so. This is a good buy going for caviar. This is a recommendation from yours truly. <laughs> so let's go to another Chanel purchase. To, um, a beautiful bag. This is also a flat bag. As you can tell, I'm obsessed with like the flat bags <laughs> um, because I think that this flat bag is one of the most iconic and classic shapes by Chanel. When you wear this, nobody will, can tell. And I have this bag for seven years. No one will tell you if it's old or new because you just can't tell. And, but this is a treat, beautiful treat by Chanel, which is gorgeous. But also, this gets dirty so fast. <laughs> like, I'm such a clumsy person. I would never take this out for dinner because I would be too scared to get like red stains from 
uh, red wine on it or whatsoever. So I've only worn this bag two or three times and when I wore it, I was like this. It's on my bag, don't touch it, don't make it dirty. And it's just not fun if you're like super protective over your bags. And you can wear it. The opposite to this bag, which I can recommend to you guys, is a tweed bag, but in darker colors. Also, I think it's nice to, if you go for a tweed, buy something that's colorful and go for different colors in one. They have beautiful blue tones, red tones, orange, pink tones. And if you go for like a tweed bag, go for something that's really colorful. It can get dirty and you won't even notice because it has so many colors and so many shades. It's like, who can even tell, you know? So if you want to go for it, it's beautiful, but this is a better option. Let's continue with Bottega Veneta. First, let me show you the bags that I bought first from Bottega Veneta, which are a great purchase because these little clutches from Bottega Veneta are in the game for decades. I don't know for how long, but super long. And they're made from like satin. It's like a really nice clutch. You can put stuff in there. This is like a really small one for like a pocket or if you just want to have like something tiny that you want to grab, lip gloss, credit card, that's it. But there's also like a bigger version and first I bought the smaller one because I was like, I have a thing for small bags, you know, so I bought the small one. But then I realized it's so much smarter to go for like the one that's like a little bit bigger, you know, it's not even so much bigger, it's just a little bit. But the thing about this is you can, there's like a chain inside of the bag, as you can see, it's in there. And you can either wear it like this, like the small one, or you can get the chain out, close it, and then even if you're at dinner or you go out with friends, you can wear it like this. And it's so much, wait, well, you cannot see it, but it should be like this. Uh, let me go to the back. And then you could like wear it like this. You have your hands free. You would wear you would wear this bag so much more often. And this is also a very beautiful color. It's like an old rosé, dusty rose, I would say. So if you want to go for a classic Bottega Veneta clutch, I recommend to you guys going for the bigger one instead of the smaller one, because there you've got the chain and you can fit a little bit more in there. Don't make the same mistakes I did. You can learn from them. Go for the bigger one, okay? This is not like Chanel. Here you can go for the bigger one. Um, let's continue with another bag style from Bottega Veneta, which I'm obsessed with. So I bought this bag, the pouch, the classic pouch, which was highly requested the last season by Bottega Veneta. This is the first one that I bought. It's white. I think it's interregio leather. It's super soft. It's like such a nice material. And the bag is beautiful. But I bought the small one. And there's no strap, there's no nothing, no handle. You're like, hi. You know, it's like you go to dinner and you're like, hi. Um, yeah, this is not really practical. And then I bought the bigger one. You can see the size difference. This is really so much bigger but you can also put so much more in there. You have no idea how much stuff you could fit in this bag. It's crazy. This is also, also beautiful leather. It's so soft. And I've worn this bag during the summertime and during the fashion weeks so many times because you could fit so much in there. It still looks really cool because the color is just so cool. And when you wear it like this, you don't feel strained. But if you wear a small one like this, you're like, I don't know, what is this even? So. If you want to go and still buy this Bottega Veneta pouch, go for the bigger one. I've heard, but I don't know for sure, that the small ones now will have a strap inside and then you can get it out and use it like this. But I would still go for a bigger one. The next pouch that I would buy will be a big one as well because 
I don't know, this bag is just so kind of iconic already that I fear the bigger one is even more iconic than the small one because it's so much more the center of attention. You can wear it in the evening, in the daytime, for meetings. It's just a super um, versatile bag. So this is one of the bags. This is, I think, the second designer bag I ever bought. This is a Celine bag. And this bag is, I don't know, I think eight or nine years old. And you wouldn't even, you, you can't even tell because you can still get this bag like this, like exactly the way it looks. It has a beautiful leather. It's super not sensitive. I've worn this many times on travels because we have the small handle, but in the back, you can see you have like a big strap and you can also wear it like this. And even though this bag is white, you cannot tell that I've worn it so many times. Maybe there a little bit, but there you can see. But this I can get away with like a little bit of water and soap. But for eight years and always traveling and always being with me and inside the bag is like um, leather. It's so pretty. This is still one of my favorite bags and I'm now thinking about because this is a very nice size for traveling, for like daytime, for meetings, for work. I wanna buy this bag in a different size, in a smaller version, in maybe like khaki, or there's like a beautiful taupe tone, something like earthy, natural colored. Also, I've seen a bag, this, this, um, this style, smaller in pistachio. I am obsessed with the pistachio at the moment. I've bought so many sweaters <laughs> and shoes and blazers and trousers and everything I can find that's pistachio color <laughs> I'm buying. So if you see anything that's pistachio, just send it to your girl, okay? Still looking for this back in pistachio because I think it was from last season and now there's new colors and I was too late, but there's ways to get it. I'm gonna find out. Oh, that was a Chanel bag. I'm gonna get it later. Let's continue with bags you shouldn't buy, girls. No, no. Let me show you four at the same time. Let me make some space here. Also, I store all my bags in the dust bags, of course, and then in the closet with the doors closed. When the sunlight, dust, and anything on the bag, it doesn't get any prettier. So. Put them in the dust bag maybe put them back in their in their box if you don't have a box just put them in the closet where they don't lose their shape that's the best you can do to maintain their beauty so a bag i wouldn't buy again Balenciaga. i've worn this a few times and it's still nice somehow you can also still get this style even though it's i think three or four years old it's not sensitive it's a good leather. There's like nothing from the quality that I don't like. It also has small handles for evening and a bigger, uh, bigger strap for when you wanna take it for like the daytime. I did that several times, but this is nothing that when you wear it, people say, oh my God, that's such a beautiful bag. Balenciaga, this bag. You don't need any other. I also have this in a size bigger in khaki, wide leather, super sensitive. I think the, the third or fourth bag that I bought, it's nice, but like, also you will never get the same amount of money back for this bag that you spend on it. Because it's still there, it still costs the same, everyone can get it, it's there in crazy amounts. It's not like Chanel, you know, where you have like certain colors that are there and then they're gone and you don't get them anymore. So it's really special. Or well, like a mess bag, of course, but this, You don't need it. So if everyone want to have it, I would sell it. I don't even know what I thought when I bought this. I still don't know why I... I mean, when I bought this, I was like in my mid trains. So why would I even wear a backpack? But there was a time where there's like Louis Vuitton backpacks. There's cute ones, like the small ones with the all logo. I understand that, but this... I worn this one time when I was in Los Angeles on a hike. But who the f wears a Louis Vuitton backpack wet on a hike? It's not 
like it's ugly. It's nice. The quality is good, I think. I've only worn it once or twice, so I cannot really tell. It's also losing its shape a little bit because I don't know, could wear it like this. You don't know. I think if I like have nieces or nephews that are gonna go to school someday. Yeah, I don't know why I bought that. There's like three Louis Vuitton that I wouldn't request any of you buying. There's a few Louis Vuitton that I would say you could get, like the trolley, you know, where you can go and travel to it. This is a nice one. Also, I have one Louis Vuitton that's like round, which is really nice because it's special Louis Vuitton. And there's one more, but that's also not giving me anything anymore. So this one. This is so ugly. And this is like... Just look at the leather you can even see the scratches and i haven't even worn it a lot you can see the scratches of my nail here it doesn't feel like it's louis vuitton you know it, it could also be like from zara or h&m like no hate to zara or h and love these um stores but this is just like it doesn't feel like it's louis vuitton it's so it has no real purpose because this is not short enough to wear it like in the evening you can it's really hard to get the chain inside because the thing where the chains are the straps that are here with the chains they're standing outside so even if you remove the chain which you can and put it in here i don't know i still feel like it's not like a clutch this is too big for like an evening clutch for me i don't know it's and then you wouldn't wear it in the daytime because of the golden flowers. And... No. Then we have another Louis Vuitton, which I would not recommend to you buy. Not because of quality, but because of purpose. Colors are pretty. This was gifted to me by Louis Vuitton, so I don't want to be about it but they said I could choose any bag I like and I chose this one there's Louis Vuitton coming to me and saying whatever bag you like choose and I'm going for this one and it's two years ago so it's not even that I was very young and stupid the colors are pretty the, the silver hardware is nice but it's it's not like a classic Louis Vuitton something. It's not like you buy it, you wear it, and you're like, wow, this is a stunning bag. It's nice, but no, don't spend money on this. Don't spend money on this. Don't spend money on this, and don't spend money on this. Because there's more iconic bags out there that you can spend your money on, which you will love forever, which you will cherish forever, and which even your grandchildren will wear because it's iconic. But these are not iconic. Now I need something to lift my mood again. So I don't feel like I spend all my money on stupid stuff. Or on present. Finally. I, this is the one time Louis Vuitton asked me to choose a bag. And I choose this one. Like, I don't know if I don't want it, want it to be too... Like I don't want it to choose the most expensive one. But there's differences between this and something more Louis Vuitton iconic. So let's go to, we can go to a mess of this. This is gonna be the grand finale. Let's go to a bag that I cherish. This you won't feel sorry about. You will never um, feel like you shouldn't have bought this one. All my very close friends. Let me show you first before I talk about it. This is the Lady Dior. This is by Christian Dior. There you've got the little Dior um, letters, which I think is super cute. The hardware is silver. This is black lambskin, but it's black. So it's not as sensitive as cream color. Um, this is really cute and it will always stay in its shape. You can open it like this here. You've got this little leather thing and then you can get a metallic strap out of there and then you can wear it like this or like this or when you say okay now i'm gonna go to dinner 
and I want to look more fancy, you can get the chain inside or you can also remove the chain because there's little clips, as you can see here and here. You can remove the chain and they have a little and cute bag with cute handles which you can take to dinner with you. So this is a very multifunctional bag. I've worn this on daytime to meetings because even though it's small, it can fit a lot. Don't be fooled by the size, okay? Um, this is a super cute bag. I have this for four years. I'm wearing this every season. So it's not a bag that you think, hmm, this is old season. I don't want to wear it. I feel not comfortable with it. Some people are like this. So this bag you can always wear. It's in a good price range. And they have beautiful colors. They have this bag in so many colors metallic and every year they bring out the lady dior i think they're not in the smaller size but like in a medium size you can also have it like in a really big for traveling it's such a nice bag really thinking about getting it in like a gray tone or like a beige one but there's like special editions of this bag maybe you've seen them on my profile because sometimes dior sends me their samples so i can wear and test them but this is a beautiful bag you won't regret it. So I'm really putting my word out there to get a Lady Dior and safe. Now we're coming to Hermes because there's Hermes bags, Birkin bags and Kelly bags, which are amazing. But also there are little things that you can do right and you can do wrong. So if you ever go to Hermes and if you're ever this lucky to get a Birkin or a Kelly bag or whatever kind of bag you would like from Hermes, but these are the two bag styles that I prefer. I don't want you to make a mistake. So, first of all, these two I can compare. This is a Kelly bag. It has only one handle. This is a Birkin bag. It has two handles, which I love about the Birkin is that it is an iconic bag. This is a perfect leather. It's up Epsom gold hardware I don't want to put this off now because every time I don't use it it's safe got my little trillies here because it's the leather can get dirty and even though you can get your bags going you can get them and you can send them to a mess and then they go to the mess bar where they get fresh if you have a Birkin get trillies it's very important because then the handles won't get dirty and the trillies are kind of cute, you have them in all different colors, you can mix and match them. I wanted to have something colorful to this cute color and I chose like this light blue, which I think is super cute for summer because this is the bag for summer. I wouldn't wear this in winter time. And then you've got the Kelly. I also bought a trilly for the handle here, but I haven't put it on. I need Mandy to do this for me because she's the queen of trilly wrapping. Um, but I still wear this bag because you can put a strip on this bag. And this is why I love Kelly bag a little bit more than the Birkins. Because the Birkin you always have to carry like this all the time. Or you get your wrist in there and then you wear it like this. But it's always on your, I don't know, like this is such an expensive bag and you don't want it to touch the ground, you don't want it to get dirty or anything, so you always hold it close to yourself. But the Kelly, you can put the strap on and then you can wear it like this on your body. You can also get the handle, you can put the arm through this, like a little bit bigger from the hole. And I do think a Kelly is a little bit more practical. You've got the silly edges, I think I've explained to you guys before. And this would stay in shape much, much longer than like a Birkin. You can already see it like a little bit. This is. I mean, this is older, two years older than this, but still. I mean, they're both beautiful. But if you ever go for a Birkin and you have, you can choose, okay? You are so lucky to get a Birkin bag and you can choose between two colors. I recommend to you guys to go for like a more neutral color because the first book I bought was this. I had the chance to pick between this color and I think black. And I was like, hmm, Hermes has the most beautiful colors. Let's go for a colorful one, which was beautiful. 
But then after time, I was like, hmm, I don't want to wear my baking to work in too many times. The car is really poppy, you cannot wear it to anything, to, to some things, but not like to anything. So I decided to go on a hunt for like a neutral color. And I think this is a beautiful color. This is Gris Perle. Um, oh, it's so Epsom leather. Or Togo, let me check the later for the guys that are interested. I'm gonna comment. Just ask again in the comments and I'm gonna tell you. This is like uh, Palladium hardware. The other one is gold. Well, it's fall, it's summer, it's spring. It's really nice. I also bought trillies for it. Don't judge me now, but I haven't put them on because I don't want to wear them too often. They should stay something really special. I have other bags that I can wear every day, but these are very special to me, so they don't get worn much. And then there's another Kelly. So if you ever they like you can go to her mouth and you can offer the Kelly bag and you have to choose between different colors and stuff. There's also bags which have more colors than one. Like this Kelly bag, which is beautiful. This is blue, turquoise and a green. Palladium hardware and this has this sign. I don't know why it's called in English, but in German it's a Hufeisen. <laughs> and this means that this bag, I still have the plastic straps on because I haven't worn this bag. And this means that this bag is super special and it was made for special reason. You can also go to Hermes and pick colors and the leather and the hardware but then maybe you have to wait two, three, four, five, six years to get it. I was very lucky to get this real quick. This is my first Hufeisen, Hufeisen bag. I would like to have a Hufeisen Birkin also in maybe beige and then this in another color like brown. Something really natural and easy, not too crazy. I wouldn't mix too many crazy colors because I already, I already, I already have a nice collection of colors. This is beautiful, right? I still have to get a truly for this one. I haven't found one with like where the colors are really nice and go well, but it has a strap. And because this is such a special bag, I won't wear it. I won't even wear it less than the other ones. So maybe never, not just joking. Maybe just once or three times a year. And then it's okay if we don't have like a trilly around here. You can go with a strap and it's gonna be fine. There's more, obviously, to my collection because I'm a little fashion freak. I love bags, I love shoes. I love clothes, I love makeup, I'm a very girly girl, but you shouldn't spend money on things that you regret. So that's why I showed you this video. There's bags that you could go for and there's bags that you shouldn't go for. And if you give anything to my opinion, you may listen to it. Maybe you don't, but that's fine. You all have different kind of tastes, but money-wise, you should listen to them because there's a lot of bags that you spend your money on which are for mass production and you spend the money on nothing not even the quality it's only for the name and there's really nice bags out there which have amazing quality which you always get the money back for because they won't lose their value yes this is my word for sunday i hope you guys enjoyed this very talky video but you guys press it and i wanna do the videos that you guys want to see, give you my opinion on it. I hope you have a great day. Just comment below. Maybe you have bags that you love and that I didn't even mention here. Would we'll love to hear what kind of bags you love, which kind of bags you hate. Maybe you hate a bag that I love. It would be interesting to know, right? So let me know. I wish you a great day and we talk soon.